Hello everyone. I would like to introduce you today how to subculture cells. Uh, before you start, you will need culture media, PBS, and trypsin. The first step is you take the uh, cells out of the incubator. You will normally take a look under microscope to make sure they are healthy. This is the uh, sterile hood. Anything goes into the hood need to be sterilized. We will first use this aspirator to aspirate the old media. Now very quickly we will use PBS to rinse out the dead cells. We aspirate out the PBS. I will then use trypsin, a enzyme, to detach the cell from culture plate. The best working temperature for the enzyme is at 37 degrees. So I'm going to put this uh, flask into incubator and uh, wait for anywhere between 2 to 10 minutes depending on the trypsin concentration you use and the cell type. During these 2 minutes what I will do is put media in new cell culture flasks. Basically 5 mil for T25 flask, 10 mil for T27, uh, T75 flask. Next step. So the cells were incubated for 10, uh, 2 to 10 minutes. I take a look under microscope and make sure all the cells are trypsinized, detached from the flask. I then use media to neutralize the enzyme because trypsin is just not good for or not healthy for the cells. media, add in the flask, I will rinse to make sure all the cells are in the mixture, I then transfer this fluid phase mixture in the new conical tube, I will spin down or centrifuge the tube to get a cell pellet and this is 400 G for 3 minutes after the centrifuge is down you take out the cell and you should be able to see there is a pellet down that's all the cell basically I'm going to aspirate the media and the trypsin because again trypsin is not good for cell and you need to make sure that the pellet is not sucked out. I will then resuspend the cells in one mil media
pepper up and down to make sure the cells are homogeneously distributed. This is my stock. I can then decide, for example, for this three flask, I would like to culture, subculture as one to four. I then use 250 microliter of cell suspension for each flask. And for this flask, I would like to use a more diluted cell density. So I can simply just add less volume. After this step is done, the leftover cell suspension should be aspirated. And I'll take a look of those flasks under microscope to see if I get the right cell density. Now that I make sure all the flasks got the cell density I want, I then put them back. All right, this is the procedures how you use subculture cells. Thank you for watching and hopefully this will be helpful.